future. So uh, this is going to be a demo session. Um, so I'm going to explain you what and all topics I'm going to cover on the sphere. And I'm going to take one of this topic and I'm going to give you how uh, exactly I'll be teaching you. I'm using a virtual machine, VMware virtual machine for uh, my trainings to deliver. So just for them. So that, uh, I mean, I don't touch it in uh, case if he's not there. When he comes online, I will start with it. So all those commands, whichever we are doing, will be highlighted. Say, for example, in installation, all my installation commands will be highlighted so that when the people are new to Linux, use this uh, opportunity to understand how a Linux works actually. So those uh, things I, I can I'm doing it as part of my training. Okay. So um, uh, all those commands will be highlighted. Only the user has to copy paste those commands and taking a screenshot so that the user doesn't find any difficulty in accessing or uh, in uh, uh, getting understanding on how actually the installation works okay so it is not just for today uh, but also for the future so for the future reference only i'm giving this document and uh, what exactly is happening with the uh, application server so we start with the basic introduction we talk about the layers of computer how important it is for web sphere so we talk about uh, what are the architectures of the processes available what is ram rom hard drive and operating systems which is available uh, in the OS layer and we talk about the software layer and we talk about all the um, extensions, software extensions which we have in the market and uh, which supports the operating system and then we go to the network layer, we understand what is network and uh, how uh, in uh, WebSphere application server and uh, how we exactly browse our website and we also understand what is web server application server some basic introduction towards uh, different uh, hierarchies of computer. And then we talk about VMware installation, how to uh, get the VMware setup done. And then we talk about um, WebSphere introduction. In that WebSphere introduction, we talk about more about uh, WebSphere as a brand and what and all the web, uh, what are the competitions are there, how it is WebSphere, VM, WebSphere application servers different from its competitors. And we talk about the home folders, like uh, what are the home folders which we are going to deal with, and the basic idea about WebSphere application server. So once we give the basic idea about application server, it will be easy for you to go ahead with the other other components of WebSphere. So we talk about profiles, we talk about PMGRs, we talk about different types of profiles available, and what are the uses of it, what are cell, what is a node, what is a host. So all those levels of configuration, we talk about it. This I wanted to give it in the, in the front itself so that people will understand uh, what what are the basic concepts for the installation. So installation will be like step-by-step -step installation where uh, we uh, I give you the commands. All those things will be inside the virtual machine itself. So you just have to download the virtual machine and uh, you can start working on the software installation part. As a non-root user, uh, because uh, we are simulating a banking environment. Uh, I work for a banking client, so I normally prefer uh, the virtual machines to be uh, were, uh, you know, presented in a banking structure. So as this is a real-time training, so we will not be using a root user for any purpose. We will use VATS user for uh, installation and configuration of WebSphere application server. First, we start the installation in GUI mode. And then we go for command line mode, and then uh, we will see the uninstallation as well. So we uh, check the uh, silent method of installation also, uh, CLI method of uninstallation. All those things will be covered in this installation topic. Now profile cons. We majorly talk about different types of profiles and how it, uh, you know, um, how different versions were released. What was the new profile added to that? So we talk about all those things, including the liberty profile also. Uh, and then profile creation. So we create uh, one profile in GUI mode, and rest of the profiles I'll be telling you how to create in a command line mode. So majorly, we, were, we are working on a Unix platform. So we should be very familiar with the command line rules. So I give uh, the, uh, every options in terms of command line rules. 
then we configure a standalone profile, we configure a federated profile, and then we do deployments and we configure, we install web servers, IHS, IBM HTTP server, we configure the web servers, uh, I draw some diagrams to illustrate uh, some of the uh, understanding points which can be easily understood by the client when I draw a diagram like this. And then we talk about plugins, uh, how uh, we use plugins to connect between application servers, and then we talk about clusters, connectivity, I have given the screenshot as root also, so that the client can understand how uh, easy it is. And then I also normally start with agenda. This, this is agenda you can find in every program of mine, every topics. Agenda will cover like what we're going to do today. So we're going to provide a creating it, yes. So I will tell them though, okay, this is what we're going to do today. And then the participants will be really excited to know that what's going to come for them. And then we go one by one uh, based on the understanding between us. And then we talk about MQ, messaging queue, for web application. And then we talk about the security features, which is including global security, application level security, Java 2 security. So we talk about all concepts of security like LDPA, SSO, Apache, and SSL. SSL is the next, next topic. Uh, we take SSL as a different topic. We do to uh, how the browser and server reacts to the SSL page. We also create uh, certificates. We update them in the WebSphere application server. We browse the certificate uh, which we have updated in the WebSphere application server. And then we also talk about patching, how to patch, how to switch packs to patch, all those things. So we also roll back as well. I will show them how to roll back in case if the problem happens if in case of uh, patching. And then we talk about WS admin, we talk about five different objects, we talk about uh, how to restart a server and also we talk about the memory management where we talk about what is memory, how it is used, how to increase the memory, how to decrease the memory, all those things we talk about memory management. In session management we talk about the session persistence and session replication, uh, how to configure this memory to memory um, session uh, uh, replication. And how we also check the cookie ID. We are, I'll be showing you on live session that how the cookie ID will be transferred to one session to another session. And then we talk about backup uh, and restoration, how to take backups and restore the backup. And also we talk about heap threads, uh, how, what is it, and how we can take it, and why was the use of it and how to analyze them. And in troubleshooting, we check about logs, changing the levels of logs, changing uh, different uh, logs, um, enabling debug mode in log, how to use binary or new log. So all those things will be covered, including PMIs, and all those problems that might happen, like frequent interview questions, and what are the research or whatever the answer solution for that. Like that, I have about 10, 15 questions, so that uh, you can understand how well, you know, uh, that in the interview question. And then we overview, we see the not covering in this train, uh, like uh, for example, on-demand routers, dynamic clustering, nobody profile, uh, package utility, installation manager, new concepts. So basically like uh, all those new concepts which we are not covering, like little advanced in A.5, so those we will be seeing the concepts.